uh, two fresh players that uh, haven't competed against each other in a console final before since the playoffs in Amsterdam. That was uh, Rasu and Megabit on that occasion. I think this is a brand new fresh lineup. The first one since May. The first time we've not seen Desari, Tex, one of these players in this console final. Well, this esports getting bigger day by day, Richard, so it's no surprise to see this fresh roster of players come on through these new faces. And here we go, then, people. Strap yourselves in. This is the Xbox console final here from the Chief and his Arena in London. And the question is who will go the full way and face us? They call him the Iceman Nicholas in that big cross console final. What a game he had against Lev. And you know, Lev's had a great tournament. I spoke to him earlier, said, probably I'd say this is your best tournament I've seen you in FIFA 19. So I, I'd probably agree with you on that, other than me last year. And looking at these two players we're seeing on the screen right now, there's no better preparation for a console final than beating Tex. It beat him six goals to three by a three goal cushion in the end. And we talked about the removal from Dennis Burkamp from the team. You asked him about it, Brandon. He said, look, Eusebio is just better than him. It's as simple as that. I, I enjoy pl using players that I use at home and that I'm loyal towards. But when you're getting this far in a competition, you have to play to the strongest meta available. And Eusebio, for him, is that. He did also say, I was like, surely you've got to give him a bit of a run out if you do well in the final. He was like, I'll give him a run out, don't you worry. But obviously, I've got to be in a comfortable position, which, again, let's just remember, Resende was 4-0 up against Tim Latka. However, at one point, he looked like he was going to throw it away. He went 4-3. to three. Then he got a penalty really late on and went 5-3 in the end. However, here he comes now in this yellow strip from Mesut Ozil's M10 team into the box. And that is... The opening goal, and funny enough, who it is again, and Golo Kante. He's been so influential for the Brazilian since he's played in this tournament, Richard. That team of the year for Titan. You know, he can defend, he can pass the ball well, he can control the midfield, but, you know, he, he can, can go, go forward, forward now and as well. score goals. On his weak foot as well, he drops a Kante on the penalty spot, 12 yards out, and smashes it into that's, the top left corner. That's not a tap-in. Great finish from Kante, and... Fires Resende into a one goal lead. You've got to remember, he was leading 3-0 after the first leg against Tim Lutker, as you just alluded to, Brandon. In the end, it got very, very nervy for him. It was 4-3 at times. Lutker were coming forward, and then he snatched a penalty late on. Secured the victory 5-3 to put him in this position right now. On the other side of that, you've got Goal Machine. He won six goals to three against Tex in a game where it was an interesting one, to be fair, you know, Goal Machine even said in the second game, I knew Tex was going to come out on me and, and try and play attacking and I had to soak that up, I had to defend well. That's so, exactly what he did do. That's what he did, and he, you know, he won there and, you know, fair play to Tex for tweeting him in there and the sportsmanship that is needed in any sport or sport. And he's qualified for every event, Tex, so, you know, he'll be You'll thinking him back next week. Next week. <laughs> yeah, the Foot Champions Cup in Bucharest. However, a little fact for you, there's only 31 points that separate these two in the Global Series rankings. At the moment, you've got Resende sitting at ninth on the Xbox side and Goal Machine in seventh place. 31 points between the two. So whoever goes the extra step further here will be opening up a, num a, a load of room. They'll probably be jumping into the top six, top five as well on that Xbox leaderboard as well. Texas firmly in number one, but maybe two to, two to ten. There's not a lot of disparity between uh, those positions, so be interesting to see who can close the gap on oh, Tex. There we go, this could be two. Fake shot, I like the idea there, and I think the, the key thing to come out of the way that Resende plays is that he plays some fantastic FIFA. Yeah, really fluid in the final third, he's very attacking, but he can also see out again when he needs to, he can switch back into a defensive formation into that 4-3-3 second variation, which we saw him do against Tim Lacker. He was a little bit nervous, though, wasn't he, in that 4-3-3? But just see out the game. Goal machine side, I'm interested. Is he still playing that 4-3-1-2, which we see him commonly use? I think he could be, it looks like, Hullet, Vieira and Kante as a midfield three. Messi in at Cam, and then the two Ronaldo's up top, that's what it looks like to me. Eusebio also as a left centre mid, I think it is in that formation. Of course, these are your two best Xbox players, and it's been a, a crazy tournament. You know, some of the players that have left the competition What's in a Swiss shot? style. There's been some huge names. Mo Alba being one of them that, that went out the tournament. Aga, Gorilla, former world champions, out. And that was in Swiss style. This was That was in before today, so the quality has been so good 
And that's what those LQEs will bring. There's a smaller batch of players. Resende now with a chance all the way across. He'll score it as well. Messi leap it up. Let's have a look at this replay from that great goal from Resende. A good team goal. You see, lovely Lacroqueta there down the side and then just a little dink into the box. Messi with the header. He does so well just to delay it though, Richard. A few seconds with that skill move. And then Messi, you know, you're wondering why he's leaping up high. He's got those stats with that team of the year fight. And yeah, and I think it's uh, 94, jumping 98, heading accuracy for Lionel Messi. He's going to win the header. And he's going to put it on target. And he's going to fire. Resende into a two goal lead inside 35 minutes. What a start it has been for the Brazilian. One thing he did say though, goal machine, he was like, I don't want, uh, obviously, first and foremost, I don't want Resende to score, but when Resende starts scoring goals, he'll, he'll let you know about it. A big celebration. He's a big, big celebrator. He's Resende. been so calm, though. He's been so calm at the moment, Richard. So, so you know calm so much FIFA left to play. That's oh, could be no, three. that's a mistake. A golden opportunity now for Resende. Play across. Oh, my, wow. That is a fantastic goal. Goal so, machine so good from him. Has to get his head back in the game. Just did the same on High School Musical. Goal machine, get your head in the game. 3-0 down inside 39 minutes. Look at it again. Not one, but two. Played across, simplified the chance. I think even a goal machine guessing what you're doing there. He actually got a foot to it as well, David De Gea, but unable to keep it out in the end. From what we've seen, we know that the Resende likes an early start. However, it's about holding on to that. And he nearly got caught. I'll talk about it again against Tim Latka. Goal machine needs to wake up, though. Has he already played his final? These are the questions creeping in now. Beating Tex is a massive, massive achievement, but you've got to follow it up with another performance. And you mentioned about they had a bit of a spa today earlier. And in those games, I believe Resende did win. However, you go back uh, two months before that in the Foot Champions Cup where Goal Machine goes and beats Resende. Yeah. It just shows what a few months do for you. What, were, what, what was a quote himself that came from Goal Machine? He's just learned, just learned how to play FIFA more, yeah. really. They said it was very comfortable in Bucharest. Now, they're playing against each other. Far from comfortable. When I say that, I mean more the fundamentals, what works, what doesn't, the formations, the players. And I feel like he's really adapted to the team of the year for items that have come in as well that he is using. Like, look at Kanto. Yeah. Implemented in and just... He's been working. a game changer. He's so well, just doing so well for him. Ball's going to come back into the area. Rude hull it on it. If he gets a goal before half-time, this will be good for goal machine, but... I'll be surprised if he'll play the oh, he's going to wait for the free kick. So let's see what he can do from this free kick. A goal from this. Firing back into a good position. Well, Messi's got the free kick stat, so he wants to go direct. I think he, I think he is going to try and go direct. He's not really got a reason not to go direct. Well, it stood over it. Obviously, we're watching from... He has shot. It's going to cross the goalkeeper. Woof. That's going to go straight into... Roger. <laughs> at least Roger, I was going to say. You see the stats there at half-time. Goal machine with 61% of the ball, I think that was. Possession doesn't win your game. Goals win games. That stat at the top of the screen, that is all that matters. Resende 3 0 up after 45 minutes. There's a lot of FIFA left to be played, but if you are a Resende fan right now, you are very, very happy with how this game is going. And he's probably tweeting out right now, Nicholas. I'm in the final and I'm waiting for one of these two to join. He obviously beat Lev Vinken in that console final. And Nicholas, again, he's an unbeaten player in the tournament. To beat Lev Vinken, three goals to one in the end. Quite a comfortable performance for him. Defended very well. 11 men behind the ball. There was no danger for him. Lev couldn't really create a lot when, you, when you're having to try and break down. Such a good defensive player who's got men behind the ball as well. It's different when you're only defending with four. But when you've got ten, nine men behind the ball, it's impossible to break down. And Nicholas has mastered that craft to the game. He's had a fantastic run in the tournament as well, Richard. As we said, still unbeaten. Goal Machine, one of those players as well that, that went 3-0 in Swiss style. Nicholas did that, went to the quarterfinals, played against the Fields and won that 5-4 as this attack comes in for Resende. Is he going to play one more? Ooh. Great save. And then, of course, Nicholas went through and to the semis, had to play against Houston, won that game 5-1. There's a chance at a great save. All the way across, off the bar, on the rebound. Neymar picks it into the box. Neymar's going to strike that. Not once, maybe twice. No, he's not. Playing back to Hullet. And then recycled all the way back across to Carl Walker. Couple of posts and crossbars hit there. 
from Resende. Non-stop. Goal machine hanging on right now by the skin of his teeth. If anything, if he's not feeling confident this game, at least keep the score down. He can't let this game in the first that leg be over. I think that was near the, the, near the penalty box as well. That Messi's just been fouled there, but he played on. You can't go into a second leg with a 4 5 0 no deficit just because your mindset going into it, not only are you trying to, you're trying to come back from that, but also you're, you're a broken man before even kicking the ball for the second well, leg. There we go. Not a surprise pause there at all from Goal Machine. Just, the press is so good from Resende. Messi to hull it all the way across now. This could be worse. This could be. 4-0. That's a huge block as well because if you show the goalkeeper movement, goal machine scuttled him all the way to the near post, expecting that shot at the near post. In the end, he went for a finesse, and it was a good block from Sergio Ramos back there to stop it from going to four. Just those two CDMs as well, they're just being asked to do so much, or I should say more the one of the air in there, all over the place at the moment. Can't seem to track a man. And you have to, I'm just pointing him out again, Kante is so good. He's literally just dominating the whole of the centre of the, of the pitch. He's everywhere, going forward, look, he's making the ongoing run now. If he wants to use him, he doesn't want to use him, he's going to recycle that one back. Good tackle from our nine there, intercepting the ball. But he's just not got a lot going forward, and you see Goal Machine's reaction every time something goes against him, he's animated. He knows that he has to try and fire his way back into this game, and... ...cannot do so, as of yet. Could be worse for him as well, Ronaldo. Can take a shoot. Say. He doesn't mind having a shot. With himself a corner, 66 minutes on the court. You see that 4 2 3 one second variation from Resende. Finally gets that pause that he has been waiting for. And obviously, we can't see the change that the goal machine is making, but I'm going to guess it's going to be an attacking change at least. What is. Is Resende going to change anything? He's not so far, really but he's going to be honest. Going to go over to your man, goal machine. He's playing that 4 2 3 one first variation. Three cams in behind one striker. Resende seems to really, really be enjoying this 4 2 3 1. Second variation. Just got the two left mid and right mid. He utilizes that left mid and right mid so well. It's almost, he waits for one of them to be free and then just exploits it very quickly. Almost very similar to uh, the FIFA 13 days when people used to play 3 5 2. You'd have your wide men, and that'd be a spare man every time, that left mid and right mid. And then we've seen it so many times, which is where you know, R9 has been at that back post, where you're saying he's using it so well. Wow. You know, you can't really say too much, other than he's just, it's just so good, simplifying everything. His goal machine maybe not switched on from that corner, potentially, it just looked... I haven't seen a corner go in like that for a while, I tell you. A little bit routine -y. So I think, I Is he playing offside trap? I don't really know, he's played it short. Just a because... roll or two. There doesn't, there seems to be not a lot of people in the box there from that corner. Defensive-wise, from goal machine, and if that is an offside trap and that's a mistake, could come back to haunt him as he trails 4-0 now. The massive thing now is in Gold Machine's head. You can't think this tie is over. You cannot think this tie is over. You've still got 20 minutes here, plus 90 minutes in the next game to pull this back. You can, you know, he's shaking his head. He's frustrated as anything. Just don't come and concede goal five. Don't concede goal six. Otherwise, you will be looking towards it being over, unfortunately. Well, now they're down this side once again. Look at the numbers forward as well. Is he going to get that? Whew, De Gea coming out, claiming the ball nicely. Goal machine, just... I can't really think of any good chances that he's created. He struggled, he has. And it's surprising to say that. Think of how well he's played in this competition. How well he is done. Here we go, though. This could be a chance for him. The press, look, two people every time, looking to press that ball. Every single time, the midfield three is so good. Just working from left to right, left to right, ensuring there's no option. Or is there an option for Hullet? Drag back, tried to good make the shot, there's Kante again. You're a big Kante fan, aren't you, Brandon? I can tell, I can tell. He's done everything right so far. I've only seen it for a centre, though, that he's played this good. <laughs> Seems like he's got three Kantes on the pitch he with how much he's he doing. literally feel like that. He's everywhere, it's literally. Defending, going forward. This could be a chance for a goal machine. Find the overlapping run, doesn't need to. Instead, he's going to play to Cristiano Ronaldo, who is just crowded outside, out. But as you mentioned, crowded out, Richard, was the press was uh, was too much so. And then here we go, we're going to get a pause for him again. It's just going to be a case to of seeing things up for Ascende. Yeah, Mbappe, Eusebio. It's not, and it's, it's not a bad for these <laughs> subs, is it? Pele, Mbappe and Eusebio coming on. Cam, right mid and left mid. 
And you've got to hope that if Gold Machine's playing three at the back. I don't think you would change three at the back in the first leg, just given that you can't concede anymore, really. Four goals is a doable scoreline to come back from, especially when you've got a full 90 minutes. Five goals, six goals. Even that's too big of an ask, I believe. Gareth Bale is, uh, is on as well and involved for Goal Machine. It's gone out to him, though, to be fair, the 92-foot item. But it's more the point I was just worried for Goal Machine if he's, you know, up against those three subs that have come on. And if he did play three at the back, of course, he's still with four. Goal Machine, he's in a plan for that. It looks like a... No, referee didn't give an advantage, actually. It looked like a foul for our position. Play the one more. There's a, a run if you want to find it. Into the last five in-game minutes here, if you have just joined. This is the console final for Xbox. We've still got the big, big final, the cross-console final. Nicholas is waiting in there from FC Basel. However, at the moment, he'll be joined by M10 Resende, who's been so impressive. You know, we talk about players that get better and better throughout the competition. He is one of them. Oh, 100%. He's improved every single round. And seems as though he's peaking at the perfect time right now. Oh, that's no, going to be a penalty. That's a silly foul. Let's try getting in there and nicking the ball back. This could give him that fifth goal to maybe put this leg. And when you talk about the form that we're looking at, Resende, you're thinking back to ESWC Sao Paulo last year. That event that he did win and kind of get his name on the history books. Up steps for Sende. There we go. It's 5 0. And it's a mountain now to climb for Goal Machine in this second game. Is that the goal to settle this matchup? Obviously, we are going to be playing two legs. However, Goal Machine has to win by a five goal margin if he wants to get back into this game. He's got to score a couple in the first half, maybe one 60th minute, one 80th minute, and then a late goal, with, all without conceding. But we know how easy it is when you're on, you know, Shami as a casual player. You're 4 0 up, you're 5 0 up, like 30 minutes in game. You, you can take your foot off the gas, you can relax. The key thing is, Resende, do not do that. Not in a two legged game, especially as well. Do not do that at all. You need to be staying switched on and ensure. Yeah, you can hold this out. Added time of two minutes to come. It's been a fantastic game in Resende's view. Everything he's touched is turned to gold. Quite literally, 5 nil up. Or if there's a goal, no, I don't think there will be. Added time has been overplayed. And there we go, Resende. What a first leg you have had, my friend, in the Xbox console final. Everything Resende turned to gold, everything goal machine touched. Sort of tin, copper, <laughs> nothing at the minute. He's getting nothing on target. He's it not really hard. having it's... good possession in the final third. Just got to have a quick look here at the stats from that first leg. Three shots, one on target. He had more possession and conceded five goals. That's how clinical Resende was. Let's have a look at the goals as they went in, Brandon. This was 12 minutes into the game, and you've just got to sit back and appreciate some of these goals. They've been so good from him. Ronaldo into Kante. Kante on the score sheet. Open up the score, and this was the second. Just a level of close control in the box sometimes is really, this. really impressive. That made it 2-0 then. After that, it was a silly mistake at the back. And look how Ronaldo made this chance. One, two, ball across. Easy as that. Ball roll into a scoop turn, into a heavy fake shot. This was a, a, such a simple corner. We've he never must seen have played a corner offside. taken like this before. Must have played an offside trap goal machine because these players just disappeared. And then this was the penalty. And, you know, we, we've gone from hyping up goal machine to had a fantastic game against F2, but we, we can't really say too much. Look, look at the stats. That's the, the full-time stats you're seeing right there. He had one shot on target. He had that free yep. kick that went miles wide. Resende had 13 shots and 11 on target. That's how direct he was. That's how... Almost just aggressive and attacking he was in the final third. Everything that he got, he was creating into chances, and there were good chances as well. It was so good for him, and as we know, five and up, there's still a second leg to play, I'm sure. His coach would be like, you've got to, be, you've got to keep going the same way you were. Because just keep on switching off. You don't want to switch off at all. However, Goal Machine, I'm sure, just going to get a quick drink. He will be back and uh, ready to play his second leg there. But it's, it is, it is so possible. It is so possible. 5-0, it could be done, but it would have to be, as they say in the FIFA scene, a bit of a choke from uh, oh, from Resende. It'd have to choke 
so much if he was to uh, throw this game away, rescinding, especially after the last leg where he nearly gave it up against Tim Latka. I can't see it happening again. I think we're going to be seeing a South American clash in the final between Nicholas and Resende. It's going to be a tough one for sure. See, 5-0 in that first leg, and we're talking in a, in a pro format, we're talking in a console final, unless there's the best 13 game minutes I've ever seen from Goal Machine to, to at least get two goals or more, then that will start playing a bit of a doubt in Resende's mind. However, Resende goes and scores in the first 10 minute series, six and up. Game over. He will be in cruise control, and I'm sure you know the, the belief in Goal Machine's head would have just completely disappeared. I'm just having a look now, and it looks like Goal Machine is deep into uh, his custom tactics right now, probably switching to a three at the back to start the game. I imagine he's gonna start three and then maybe move on Throughout the game, we can get an early goal, early two goals. Might switch back to a 4 2 3 1. However, I'd be shocked if he wasn't starting three at the back 3 4 2 1, 3 4 1 2, maybe even a 3 5 2. We've seen some big, big performances. I seem to remember um, Jablet in Bucharest for the LQE. He played 3 5 2 against Rafsu, I think it was, and he came back and provided a massive result against him there. So it can be done. However, in a console final, when you've got a five goal lead, are you going to let it happen to you? That's the question. Exactly that. And of course, now you've got the pressure of you're on stream. You know, some of those games weren't really off on stream. stream. Yeah, yeah, they were off stream. And it was... That's a different dimension. It, it completely. And you know, you're not on the, the stage here that you are in Gfinity with all the camera, all the lights and you. You know, it's pretty hot up here. I can imagine it's very hot up there as well. <laughs> However, it's your second leg so of again. the Xbox console final. Five goals are needed for the man kicking from right to left in that team rope strip. Resende still in the yellow, the bright yellow kit that... He played in and just dominated the first game, really. For Sunday, scores the first goal. It's going to be a tough, tough ask for Goal Machine. Coming into this tournament, you know, a lot of history in this, in this console final, to be honest. New nations, new regions in the FIFA scene, making it this far in the tournament. Big names crashing out early as well. And these are your best two out of the 16 on your console side. Nicholas, though, at the moment, the best on PlayStation from this weekend. He's waiting in the cross-console final there. He's guaranteed himself 850 Global Series ranking points. However, there's prize money to play for there. You can see Gold Machine just in your top right-hand corner. Getting a little bit agitated. With what we said, Resende, if you score first, you're going to be six and up, and you are going to be... If you weren't already in cruise control, you're going to be even more so. Yeah, you're going to be in pole position. You're going to be in... Such a good position. Ronaldo to Kante. And Marcelo, can he find the overlap? Doesn't want him. Instead, he's going to play to Messi. And chances will, just the way he's moving it. He knows where he's going. He's one step ahead of his opponent, if not two steps. Fake shot, ball roll. A few step overs in there as well. Just still 5 0. I said I needed a big 30 minutes from your goal machine. With those big 30 minutes, you need at least two goals, you've got to say. Be interesting to see what kind of differences he's made to his team and his custom tactics. Of course, we can't really find that out for you until we, we jump into see his team itself, management. Yeah. Pull it. There we go. There's a chance. Ooh, that had to go in. I think that had to go in if he did want to try and spark this comeback. Good and save. And he goes. Can he win that? No. Courtois is going to give that a big punch instead, Richard. Acrobat again from Messi. Oh, my. Oh my. That could be up there. It's one of the best goals of the tournament. Is that the spark to ignite a fire underneath Goal Machine? Is that something that he needed? Just something special from his main man, Lionel Messi. Bicycle kick from 22 yards out. There was two people that Bird, <laughs> that was going to say that Goal Machine loved. Birdcam and Messi. Birdcam kind of just pushed out the team a little bit. But, you know, it goes without saying that Messi was going to get a team of the year. He was so happy to get him in his team. And he says, I just love Messi. He's just so good for me. And, it's an unbelievable They're goal. calling the magician sometimes, wow. That goal, the little bit of magic, a little bit of hope that Goal Machine needs. However, don't go and concede down the other end. Or Good tackle from Sergio Ramos. Last minute tackle there. Otherwise it would have been Messi striking straight back down the other end, Richard. Overlapping run, there's Messi making the run. Don't want to rush it though, when you're trying to get back into a game, you're trying to perform a comeback, you can't rush, you just keep on playing the same way that you are, and things will just slowly start ticking for you. If you start rushing your chances, that's when chances go squandered. 
Luca Messi there, close control dribbling, so good from him. 99 rated. There's your save, yo. Gonna play back to Messi, doesn't want to, gonna play to Ronaldo. Who's gonna take the shot here? Lovely spin, lovely goal! Hold on. Let's just all relax a little bit, OK? I said he needed a good start in the first 30 minutes, Richard. I said two goals at least. He's delivered them by the 22nd minute. Two goals in 22 minutes. We always say every single game of FIFA is a fresh start. It's a clean slate, OK? Goal machine's coming into this. All I need to do is just play my best FIFA. If I beat him by a similar score and that I beat him in Bucharest, I'm winning this game. Such a simple roulette, it was just to open up a little bit of space, we're saying who's taking this shot, it was Messi in possession for a long time, straight down the other end, defend again, get another big tackle in against him, there He's you go, it. you've picked the ball up again, that's that confidence to say yes, I can defend against this man. Yes, I can perform this comeback. And on paper, you look back at that Tim Latka game when Resende was 4 and up, he was looking so confident, how that could all change if... They considered three goals did Resende in 22 minutes against Tim Latka. He's susceptible to a counter-attack, to a comeback. Is the Brazilian. I'm sure it's every goal that goes in from goal machine that just start creeping, that bit of doubt in his mind, Richard. He needs another goal, though. One of the best things you can do when the pressure's on against you. Edge of the box. Vieira looking to create. Moving it so well, his goal machine. From Hullet to Vieira, across to Eusebio, back to Messi now. Ronaldo, who's going to have the shot? Who's going to take that risk? I think it's going to be Ronaldo. He's going to take it off the bar. And number Storm, goes in. Storm. Oh, Courtois. Courtois. He knew that was a huge chance for him. You can see the passion from Goal Machine. And you can see the panic from Resende. He's queued a pause. He knows that he has to change something because right now he's under the cosh. And you often say when you see your, your opponent make a pause, it's often a bit of panic from him, if anything. I think it certainly is right now. Seriously knocking on the door, isn't he, Goal Machine, saying you might be five goals up, but I'm going to do everything I can to pull this back. Everything in my power to make this cross-console final. 99 finishing Cristiano Ronaldo there. Smashed against the upright. Yeah, and other times that'll bounce back to Eusebio in a better position. They'll be able to get more power on the header on this occasion. Courtois able to get back and scramble it up. He needs a goal. That's Resende, but these last-minute blocks are everything for Goal Machine. If he can go in at half-time with a 5-3 scoreline, this oh, game is amazing. well open. Risky there at the back, had to be confident, had to be composed. Pull it. Eusebio will try and battle against Rude Hullet, but that's always going to be a tough one in the air. So strong in the air is Rude Hullet, he's so strong across all. Aspects. Needs to win this header in the centre of the park. He is going to win it. Sergio Ramos leaping above the rest there. Messi. He was a key danger man for him. And he's been involved in the attacks as we've seen. Look at this. Oh, well, played all the way across. Carl Walker now. 5 3, you said, Richard. Is he going to do it? Oh, no. He could have had a penalty. He dove in, did Resende. And it's Kyle Walker just jumped over the tackle. He could have had a cutback as well. That's that split second decision making. He shot just as he knew he was free. It's twice now, though, Richard, where he's had those kind of like rebound headers, which you kind of know aren't going to go in, but he's still gone for him. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum I'm sure, if anything, Resende, get me into half time because I need a breather. CR7 just gone offside there, but he's just diving into tackle. He's panicking. Is Look Resende. At that. Seriously panicking. Look, you're pulling out players from position here, Resende. Messi. Oh, he's hit him in the face. He took it straight in the face, the young lad. The good thing is here, he knows he's on top goal machine. Don't get frustrated as easy as it is. I know you've had two or three really good chances there that maybe another day they go in, you hit the bar, you were close to getting a penalty. That's a man on your screen right there who is under pressure, is Resende. He's had nothing really in that first half. I think I saw eight shots, seven on target from goal machine. You see there, Mike LaBelle watching with that cross console finalist in Nicholas. Little wave to the camera. That's a New York wave right there from Mike LaBelle. <laughs> Uh, of course, you know, Nicholas probably thinking, this is a bit of a game, isn't it? We've seen quite a few seven goals already in it between the two. And if anything, I'm sure he hasn't got a notepad there, but his coach will be uh, noting a few points down of, of how both of these two are playing because he will be playing against one of them in 45 in-game minutes time. Shot if anything, I wonder what changes were made from Resendo. I honestly think he might have dropped back a bit more. Yeah, maybe he dropped back a little bit more, but Rogue, uh, Rogue Goal Machine also as well, probably just gone more for it, probably playing constant pressure, maybe press on heavy touch. 
Unfortunately, we was able, unable to see the, the custom tactics change from Goal Machine. Another goal. You'd have to say it would be over. So taking back down the line, that's what Rosende seems to be doing defend. all day. If he can defend this, he's going to have every chance to stay in this tie goal machine. Currently three goals down, he can see now be four, it'll be tough. He's one of the best players that I've seen in this tournament, Rosende, taking the ball down the line with that heavy fake shot with a little bit of close control. Once he gets it to the byline, he knows exactly what he wants to do to get that ball into he's the danger it again. area. He's paused it again. Oh, nine. You're, right, you're on the right side of your man. Shot. Oh, oh no. It's flashed past the post from Goal Machine. Ah, nine. What a chance for him. I thought he was going to try and make something of it. I think he had more time than he even thought. Into that 4 2 3 1 second variation from Resende. What we're used to seeing him in, to be honest. Just gone onto his fullbacks, balanced, attacking. I think he's on more balanced and less focused on the custom tactics and the player instructions and more just, let me just focus on my game. Sometimes I think Led Vinken, he plays everything balanced. It doesn't do anything at all. Something Jokstan does as well. With the player instructions, with the custom tactics, because sometimes you can over rely on, oh, my fullback should be on stay back while attacking. Why is he not going forward? You find excuses. If you've not got any of that on, it's just your performance, your FIFA ability. Isabio. This is goal machine. Needs three goals, remember that. Hasn't changed. However, he scored two goals in 22 minutes. He's had his chances. Eusebio. He mentioned how good he was. There's Messi, the hero. Oh, the Big flexion. rebound. Could have gone anywhere. Could have been an own goal. Could have been the slice of fortune he needed. He can't hang on to that. Has to go down the other end straight away from a corner. And I'm sure Marcelo's going to win that battle. Yes, he is. He's beaten Ronaldo to it. Shows he wants it a little bit more. The desire is there. Eusebio to Marcelo. Back to Messi. Can he get a shot way of Hullet? Good tackle from Resendez Hullet, but ball fouls out wide to Kyle Walker. Can he play it back over? Yes, he can. It's all a goal machine right now. It's important that you just don't get frustrated. You can see the numbers fall. They are literally hunting in packs. The midfield and the, you know, the forward three of goal machine. You can see he's made a pause. He knows that he needs to go for it as well. And if he pulls this back and says, I still extra time, this could be unbelievable. Still a long, long kick. way back for it, though. Free kick in a decent area for Goal Machine. Another pause queued from Goal Machine. He's got to be going into a three at the back right now if he's not already there. For two, three, one, second variation still used from Resende. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, R9 Ronaldo at right mid, maybe brought off, maybe bring Mbappe on. Just so if you do get a counter attack, you know you've got that pace in behind. We're going to see the formation here from Goal Machine. He's playing in that four. Four and two and two narrow. Correct, yep. So it's going to be fast, it's going to be quick, whatever he does. And it's all going to be through the centre, pretty simple to be honest. It's going probably to be quick. Constant pressure and fast build up, probably used from Goal Machine right now to try and force his way back into this game. He's got a free kick in a decent area. Just don't hit this into Roje. He's hit it straight away. Messi's going to take it. Oh, he moved his keeper. If he'd gone the other way, that's a goal. Rosende moved his goalkeeper. It's, it's if it goes into the opposite corner, that's it. It's a goal every time. Yeah. Straight back, though. Again, it's a goal machine. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow he's gone for. That's the Canadian. In behind me, Marcelo. Look play for it a across. Cross. He needs to play to someone. Marcelo, it goes across. Ramos was there. It's a case of just trying to hold on for a sender at the moment. Did fire it across the floor, did goal machine. But you can see the numbers are full. Look at the gap. There's the run. Messi in acres of space, but Ramos, I'm sure, will catch him. If not, Maldini. Hullick's loitering in the box, just on the penalty spot. A goal would pretty much confirm this. Four goals in front, he would be Resende. It would pretty much confirm he would be in the final against Nicholas. If he wasn't already, 20 in-game minutes left now. Three goals are still needed by Goal Machine. Resende doing everything he can just to keep the ball. Make the best opportunity he can. And win a foul. Kick. Clever. Tactical free kick there, won by Resende. Is it going to be a direct shot from If he is this straight away, no, he's going to play short into Messi. What's he going to do? He's going to have a ball roll. Then he's going to a tackle. You're going to get, if I mean, you're probably going to get three good chances, goal machine. Three good chances, and that could be your goals. This is, the this one. is chance number one. Put this away, it's game on. You miss it, it's game over. There we go. Game on, 17 minutes on the clock. Do not go anywhere. 
Both of the players queue, queue up pause. That goal as well. That's going to make Resende panic even more. Look, when you're making a player change your tactics this much in a winning position. So he switched from 4-2-3-1, second variation, into 4-2-3-1, the first variation. Eusebio coming on at right cam, Messi in at left cam. I imagine he's going to be coming off maybe for Ronaldinho, maybe for Pele. Pele left cam and Eusebio in at central cam. Hopefully, Resende switches over to goal machines uh, point of view so we can see goal machines formation right now. He was playing that narrow 4-1-2-1-2. I'm sure one, two. he's going to compare anyway in a second if Resende does go there after he's had a drink of water. But he's he only two goals in front now and he's had, he's had a great chances once or twice as a, as a Resende. But those chances aren't going to fall back to you now. If this comes back, this could be a fantastic game and it could have everyone. You see the goalkeeper moving just slightly left to right and then just fired into the left corner. It's one of them though, he had so much time in it, I was worried. Could he yeah. slow down and I thought the defender was gonna, you know, the recovering defender was gonna win that, but luckily for him. Neymar doing the business for him. Sixteen minutes, goal machine. Sixteen minutes to score two goals, put on a show and send us to extra time. And he's won the ball, everything's going into his favour at the moment. You can just you can't really imagine the pressure. You know, you're oh, jumping up from if, you, if Resende holds this out, you're, you're jumping up to the best player on Xbox. A goal would do that. Ball across, off Ooh. the bar. Oh Ooh. no, it's over, you've got to say. I was about to say, I thought that, that would be could best be heroic defending. It was heroic against uh, F2 Tex. I thought that was about to be the best goal line clearance I've ever seen. Everyone, it was Marcelo on the line there, but I think that is pretty much confirmed it. It wasn't meant to be for a goal machine and Resende. He can take Green a breather stakes. now. Just calm it down. I know he's been a very stressful 70 minutes at least after that chance did come in the end. But Marcelo, there on the re if we can see it on the replay again, it was heroic from him. Reinstates that three goal lead and goal machine. Three goals in 13 minutes to take us to extra time. Look at this, Marcelo on the line, <laughs> heads it oh, onto the post. If, if he blocked that, the comeback oh, would have happened. The comeback would have happened. There's still time, but three goals would be, it'd be interesting. Vieira coming off. Six, three on aggregate now. And at this moment, Resende will push on through. And ensure that he is in that cross console final. Puts that ball down anything, the line. That's Resende's where the space is. Resende's going to go and score again, Rich. Mbappe pushed off the ball there and all guns blazing now for goal machine. Nice ball down the line, Neymar's going to pick it up. Lovely inside, oh, Ronaldo. Yeah, maybe looking for a penalty there, a cheap penalty was goal machine, but referee waves it away. Mbappe to Neymar on the edge of the box now. Can you get a shot away? If anything, it'll probably be a consolation if anything. Free kick That's on the edge. Free kick. Five minutes left, plus added time. Three goals now, it's going to be tough. It really is. Played short, direct shot. That one's blocked again, Maldini. He knows how to put us on a bit of a roller coaster, Resende. <laughs> he, he makes the first game look so easy. Then he just switches off for about 60 minutes in the second game. <laughs> and then he pulls himself back and... Oh, wow. What Gareth a Bale. strike that, scissor that kick. was. Yeah, scissor kick from Gareth Bale, but it wasn't meant to be. And you've got to say, Resende, 3-1-1. He won. They played earlier today in a practice game. Resende got the win. The goal machine, keep your head high. You've still picked up at least 450 Global Series ranking points. And you've done a lot. You beat F2-Tex. It's, it's a huge statement. You're still going to be in that top 10 on the rankings on Xbox. This is to conclude even more so. Resende now. Oh, good goalkeeper movement. A little bit of consolation there for a goal machine. Good bit of movement, stopped him at the near post. And this will be your best Xbox player from the weekend. He'll be playing against Nicholas in a very short period. And that will find out who our Gfinity LQE champion is of the month of January. Shot to come in now. But congratulations, Resende. Superb FIFA from you, mate. A great first half, or a great first leg. 5-0. He made it look a little bit uneasy for himself in the second leg, but, you know, what a tournament. What a tournament. There were a reason he got 63% on the fan vote. 
is in the cross console final right now. He's the Xbox champion of the Gfinity LQE. He's only taking on Nicholas99FC in the cross console final.